the YouTube. Uh, today I got a, a package from Russia. I've been trying to get started on a project to build a laser for my um, CNC uh, cutting machine. And um, so I ordered a special laser crystal from Russia. Off eBay. And I think it's a anti-egg crystal. And this is the box it came in. Or uh, pack, however. And I'm gonna open it now. And here is. This is the first time I opened it. I did open this a little. I just wanted to see what's in it for the video. Um, I didn't really look at it yet. So this is the first time I'm gonna look at the crystal. Now, can I get any, like, skin or anything on it, since this is an optical thing? I'm gonna put on some gloves. I hope these gloves don't have anything like dust on it. But at least dust doesn't have grease or cells or anything that hands do, so... It's still, it's still better than not wearing gloves. Um. Well, this is exciting because I never really got any advanced laser stuff before. Um. So I'm just going to be very careful and try to open this. Okay. I don't want to break the crystal accidentally. Get on the table. See why they packed this very good because I don't know how delicate the crystal is, but you never know what happens in shipping. There could be mechanical stuff and things like that. So if you want to know while well, I'm unpacking this, I'm planning on building a laser cheap as possible by hand. Um, I'm thinking of first trying a flash tube from a disposable camera and maybe figuring out how to cool it so it can run continuously and not just a flash to pump the, uh, the laser. First of all, it looks like they put this in a box. Okay. Be a little careful. Okay. Here it is. I'm glad they put this in a box. For the same reason I mentioned why they put in bubble wrap. What's this? I think these are the... I don't know what this is. Seems like another optic. Some kind of prism. I'm not sure what type of prism. I, I really have no idea what this is. I, I didn't order this part. No, I guess it's nice to have. Unfortunately, it's covered in stuff. Okay. Uh, let's order, let's open that rod-shaped crystal that makes up the main part of the laser. Um, 
And basically what this is, is it's hard to explain, just absorb light, and basically, and when it's strong enough, it lets out the sides of the rod. Base, basically using a make a laser beam. It's a little more complicated than that. I just don't want to get too complicated right now. Up and here's the rod. This is the rod we've been waiting for. Um, if you, if you know, I'm not gonna try pulling these ends off right now, because they might, might be useful anyway. I, f I think these are just for protection. Oh, they do come off. Okay. Oh my god, just look at that. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not going to try looking at this too closely because I don't look at, because I haven't played around with, um, lasers too much yet, and I don't want to do anything to get myself hurt. But I will show it up to the camera and look at this video a little to see what that looks like. See, it's clear on this side. And, um, at least that's what I think because I'm not going to try looking at it yet. I don't know how uh, much energy it's outputting just from being exposed to room light. And this is the side, it looks matte, um, clear, not clear, at least that's what I think it is, I'm not above, I'm not, I'm not looking at the screen. Okay. Looks very nice, unfortunately, I have to wait until I see the video. See what that looks like closely. I'm gonna put this away closely. I waited a long time for this, so I don't wanna do this too roughly. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, let's uh, probably have to you know, let's just rip it and bevel wrap again. Okay. Okay, and let's put that prism back together. I don't know why this is wrapped around it. I might just be able to throw this away. I don't know why it's there, so I'm just going to pack it the same way. That's the crystal I ordered. If you are interested in the laser it's going into, if I get that built, um, please stay tuned and subscribe. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.